Robert, I got a visual confirmation that G.H. Chopper landed along the river by the Harbor View Road. South by the big estates. Well, let's get on next one. Wait a minute, what about Felicia? You know, I left that whole situation. I'll take care of Felicia. Why don't you go on with uh, Robert now? Come on. Victor Jerome escaped from prison. What? You know that helicopter that made me think he was on it? Victor Jerome? Yes. Shoot him. I didn't hear that. I mean it. Nobody ever does anything, you know. Am I the only one that does anything it's around here? I just want to be protected, Robert. It's going to be a full investigation, is the best I can do. Yeah, right. Do you keep that, child? I'm sorry, all right? Everyone's a little tense at the moment. We'll find out who's behind this breakout. I don't care who's behind it. I just want that man put in prison. All right, we'll get him. She died to get him put away. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You're a little overruled right now. Don't you think I have a right to be? Don't you think I have a right? You're being quiet over there. Just taking it all in. Sounds to me like this Victor Jerome is your domino. Well, I think we'll wait till we hear from Colton or Frisco. Tony, Lucas has to go to sleep. Oh. Put him in the nursery. We'll stay here tonight, and we'll go home tomorrow. I thought you lived here. No. Well, I do. I mean, I did. I don't live here anymore, do I? Yeah, we sort of haven't worked out the details. Yeah, I've got a big house, and and we're probably going to move in there because it's pretty, and it's big, and BJ and I are comfortable there. Right? Right. He has a real nice house. Who's BJ? My daughter. Oh, well, see, because we were married before, that's why. Oh, I see. Tom? Oh, I'll get it. Okay, it's okay. He's just... Hi. Everybody was worried about you. Oh, I'm fine. I just, um, no. was Tom just here to feed me a minute ago? Oh, uh, no. Why? Hmm. That's odd. I just, I thought I heard somebody walking upstairs, that's all. I talked to Frisco. He filled me in on all the details. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just concerned about Anna, that's all. Yeah, I feel so sorry for her. Well, I met her. I went to her house. Remember, you took me there. Yeah. Well, you can go ahead and fill them in and then tell me later if you want to. No, why don't you hang around? Listen to the details. Maybe you'll remember something. Anyway, the hospital helicopter was seen touching down near Harborview Road. Near the quartermains. Exactly. So Frisco and Anna and Robert are on their way over there right now. I, uh... I want to apologize for the disruption, Lila. Oh, that's perfectly all right, Robert. I only wish that you'd drop by socially sometime instead of always being here for business. Mm. Wonderful idea, Mother. Then he can disrupt our lives at will with no reason. Ignore Robert. We all do. But why are you here? There's been an escape from the federal prison, and we think that the man might be on your property. Oh, why didn't you say you were looking for Alan? Victor Jerome escaped from prison last night. Oh, my goodness. Isn't he that dreadful man who... Lila, I'm sure it's all right. There's no immediate danger to our family. No, not as long as you stay inside. He used the General Hospital helicopter. Not any of you here or see anything tonight? Well, yes, come to think of it, we, we did hear a helicopter a little earlier, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. thought it was the neighbors. Well, my men are checking the uh, neighborhood area. Lila, I'd like permission to uh, go over your estate. Oh, of course, Robert, of course. Do, do whatever you have to to catch that terrible man. Thank you. 
Well, this can't be easy for you, considering what he did to Duke. No, it isn't. So, nobody recalls seeing or hearing anything unusual in the last couple of weeks? No. no really, no. There was a stranger here this morning. Oh, yes, that's right. A nice man. Very polite, soft-spoken. Uh, he, he came here looking for a job. Anybody describe mm. him? Well, not really. I only saw him for a brief moment. If uh, you'll allow me, madam, he was between 35 and 40. What does he look like? Well, he was tall, was wearing a hat, so I, I can't tell you about his hair. And it, it was hard to see his face. What was he doing here? Well, that's what's so strange. He came here looking for work, uh, specifically in our boathouse. In late October? Well, the boathouse has been closed for at least a month. I say, Lila, it's a jolly good thing you didn't hire this fellow. Well, I mean, it's, it's perfectly obvious he knew nothing whatsoever about boats. Put a lid on it, Ashton. It's obvious he was working for Victor Jerome. My God, he was here making preparations. Are you saying Victor Jerome is in our boathouse? Why don't we find out? Mm -hmm. Come on. It's all right today. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Did you want to go? No, no, you need to practice. Okay. I'm right behind you. Can you see anything out of the ordinary? How the hell do you tell? It's all junk in here. Nothing back here. Even if Victor would come to the river, why would he stop here? What would be the point? You know, he might have had a boat stashed someplace. He could have split the Canada. Not a bad idea if you think about it. It's just wishful thinking, isn't it? Anna, why would Victor Jerome, of all people, want to stick around poor Charles? To finish off the job he started oh, on Oh, get off it. You're overreacting. Well, you and stop taking out your frustrations on me, if you don't mind. Go back to the cottage. With Robin and me. Chris, go take them home, will you? You think I'm right, don't you? I'm just covering all bases. Now, look, nothing else can be done here until daylight. If something happens, believe me, you'll be the first to know. In the meantime, be with our daughter. I want you to make me promise. No, if I can. Listen, I don't care what you do with Victor's accomplices, but I want him. Oh, look, I'm the police no, commissioner. No, I want I'm... him, please. Robert. It's been really awful being tied up and chloroformed like that. Oh, uh, I've been through worse. With you, as a matter of fact. But I guess you wouldn't remember that. It's a shame, too, because uh, all those things that we went through together just brought us closer together. I'm glad. Well, maybe you should call the hospital and see what's happening. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that Frisco's fine. I'm worried about Anna and Robin, of course, but it's hard for you to understand because you don't remember anything about Victor, Jerome, or Duke. No, I don't. You look really tired. I'm pretty tired, too. Maybe you should go home and get some rest. That's a good idea. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to get some rest. I mean, this is my home, or... At least it was, anyway. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I haven't. Especially on a night like tonight. So cool. Calm. Quiet. We're here alone together, just the two of us. It's been really nice. It was more than nice. It was perfect. It was the happiest time of my life. And you told me that you were very happy, too. I'm sorry that you can't remember it. Oh, I wish I could, you know. This isn't easy for me, either. No, I'm sure it isn't. Would you mind getting me a blanket and a pillow, please? Sure.
Thank you. Good night. Good night, Felicia. 